we're in the, the the peak of the winter surge. COVID-19 hitting New Hampshire hard. We're seeing some of the highest levels of COVID-19 in our communities that we've seen at any point during the pandemic. And to help lessen the impact on the health care system, the state is rolling out additional resources. Tonight, 750,000 free at-home tests are available through the state's COVID-19 website. It's part of the Say Yes COVID test program, which delivered 1 million tests earlier this month. However, this round is only available to households that could not order a kit when they were first offered. We're estimating about another 180,000 households uh, will be able to click on and get um, a, a, a bunch of these tests because they don't just send one, they, they send a few, um, which is really, really great. The state is also doubling its fixed testing sites, adding locations in Keene, Laconia, Lincoln, and the Berlin, Gorham area along with six additional new fixed vaccination and booster sites in Manchester, Nashua, Concord, Keene, Salem, and Exeter. Six new fixed vaccination sites that will administer booster and vaccines on a walk-in basis, so you don't even need an appointment. The four fixed sites that we have currently uh, have been very, very successful. They're also walk-in. You don't need an appointment. And on January 8th, New Hampshire will once again host Booster Blitz at 14 locations throughout the state. Registration is required. Sign-ups for this next round of boosters is going to open on January 3rd. And also today, a deployment deadline for 30 paramedics who are here as part of a federal emergency response team has been extended uh, by several weeks. The governor says they are helping local hospitals that are dealing with a surge in patients. Reporting live in Concord tonight, I'm Tim Callery, WMUR News 9.